Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. you play you play Tony and and Tony and Tony and right and it's all about from a, the wilds of Brooklyn from the wilds of Brooklyn yes. there's a real big gay which Italian I'm from wedding. I'm from Brooklyn I know so that. it wasn't you know so much of an acting job I, I pulled out my best Brooklyn accent you know how did you find out about this role well Anthony Wilkinson who wrote it uh, used to be one of the associate directors on one life to live and so I've been following his writing and performing career. And I, uh, well, I, I saw this when it was in other forms a couple of years ago. And then I officiated the wedding. I was a special guest. And I said to him, if it ever, the opportunity ever comes up to play Antonia, I would like that. But I don't want to replace the girl who's doing it because she was really wonderful. And it turned out two days later she was leaving. It was meant to be, yeah. darling. It was meant to be. Yeah. I'll only be doing it, though, until next, uh, till the 28th, May 28th. Till the end of this month? Yes. How many performances have you put in for the show? I've done a bit. I did two straight months of three shows a week. And then uh, April, I did a couple of Saturdays. And uh, I've done every Saturday in May and this coming Friday. So. That's a bunch. You know, the, the show doesn't run a whole week. It runs on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday schedule. So. And I love the theater. It's such a charming it's a cute theater. little theater right on Restaurant Row, the St. Luke's Theater. Very convenient, yes. Very convenient. It's like off-Broadway, but not really off-Broadway. You right. really like right in Broadway, really. Off-Broadway, on-Broadway. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, it's great. It really, it's really is great. an adorable little theater. Now, I've never seen you play an Italian girl, but you do it very well. I have an inner Italian, there's no doubt. I really do. Well, I grew up in a Jewish and Italian neighborhood, so... Uh, well, you're talking to an Italian girl right hello. here. Okay. So, right, you passed the test, darling. Thank you. You passed the test with Floyd Corrigan. I want you to tell my audience where we can go to find out more information about you about as me. an actress. Oh, okay. Google me. Just Google me. Or go on YouTube. There's there's videos. There's a lot of videos that I've done with this wonderful Italian woman. And, um, and my website, EileenKristen.net, because somebody stole the dot, EileenKristen.com. That's so crazy. I remember I when you told me that. In France, somebody has it's got EileenKristen.com, and nobody uses it. But I guess they're expecting any day now I'm going to call them for it. Insane. Insane. But just Google me. There's a load of pictures, you know. There's just loads and loads of pictures. I want to see you do a comedy. Your own vehicle. You did, but your 
being the star. I, I would like that too. Star. I would like That's that. That, that is, you know, actually, that is my dream. And I don't even know how I got on a soap opera, particularly because my dream was always to be something wacky on a on a comedy show. And like Lucy. Yeah, and I've done everything but. Go figure, you know. Go figure. Well, life takes us in crazy places, yes. and we just have to learn to adopt, don't we? Yes. Right. Yes, we do. And yes, I want to thank you for this wonderful thank you. interview. Thank you. And My two friends from Greece, from who were in Greece with me. I, I did the original company of Greece, and the original Sandy Dombrowski yeah. is here. And Joy Rinaldi, who was my understudy and did every part in the show, including Miss Lynch and Cha Cha. We'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews right here at Etc. Etc. for the after party for my big gay Italian wedding. Keep watching, darlings. Pink champagne kisses. for the 100th anniversary of my big gay Italian wedding. It's a huge smash on Broadway. And I'm here with the creator, the writer, and he also stars in this fabulous play, Mr. Anthony Wilkinson. What a pleasure to a pleasure interview to you and to Thank see you. the show. Thank this you. is truly an amazing show, I must tell you. I had the best time. I am so glad. And it brought so many memories of my life growing up as an Italian girl. You are? I'm Italian, yes. <laughs> Don't let the platinum blonde hair fool you, darling. Where are you from? Um, actually, I was born in Brooklyn. And did you relate to the story? Absolutely, 100%. All of the characters. People every always single say one. to me, they say, you know, I say it's inspired by real life, you know? It, it, I think as a writer, you just channel what you already know. You know, and I mean, people have said to me, when are you going to write a sh straight comedy? I'm like, well, I'm not sure. Why should you write a straight I'm a comedy? I write what I know. There's plenty of people to write those things. That, you know? There you go. <laughs> yes, but I'll tell you a little story. Last, last year, last summer, it's almost a year ago, I was in the Hamptons right. at a Ferrari meet. Okay. And I was filming. I was doing interviews. And who do I see? Manso. Yes, yes. And I said, Dina, darling, and I went over to her, I kissed her, yes. and we sat down, I said, let's do an interview. Okay. And I had, I had done an interview with her not too long ago, it was at an event, her and her sister Caroline yes. and Teresa, and they were talking yes. about the Real Housewives of New Jersey. And she says, oh, Cognac, I'm working on so many things now that I left the Real Housewives. Yes. Well, she happened to be one of my favorites because she's so stunningly beautiful with those big blue eyes of yeah. hers. And she said, I'm working on a play on Broadway, and yeah. it's going to be called My Big Gay yeah. Italian Wedding. That's right. That's right. Do you know how I met Dina? Tell me. Tell my audience a story. Well, it's very true. I actually met Dina on a plane on the way to L.A. I was going in. Now you sound like Fran Dresser because wow. that's how she met the producer. Yeah, what can I say? Right when she did that whole show, the it's nanny. True, yeah, I met um, Dina. We were on the plane, and it was a very turbulent flight. And I'm not a good flyer. I'll be the first to admit it. A very stressful thing. And Dina was sitting across from me, and I started to get a lot of anxiety because it was very turbulent. And she came and sat next to me, and she said, "Are you okay?" I said, ah, 
time, you know. And she just said, it'll be over soon. And, you know, because thank God it was not an empty, it was more of an empty flight. And, um, you know, we started telling stories and whatever, whatever. And uh, over the course of three hours, we just bonded. And when we landed in L.A., she went to do what she had to do, and I went and did what I had to do. And then we met up for coffee, and we met up for, you know, cream puffs and we had dinner and we had a good time so when we got back to town we just stayed in touch and then she I told her about this project and she really believed in it and she wanted to support it and she goes I would love to produce this show and she did now she, is she the only producer or there's other no, producers it's her, involved there's, too, there's right? quite a few yes there's quite a few how many producers five five, five. Mm -hmm. five producers of the show five yeah. She's not here tonight. She's not here tonight. She wanted to be here tonight, but she has a very big event um, Monday night for Project Ladybug. I know. Bug. I know all about that. So I because know about she's Project doing that Lady event, Bug. she can't really, you know. She can't time. make it. No, it's very hard. Very, very difficult because she, it's a big oh, event. Thank you so much. And the play is adorable. Thank you. Thank you. I hope it goes on for many years. I hope so too. From your mouth to God's ears. <laughs> oh, it becomes like the fantastic. I hope so too. I hope so too. <laughs> Would you like to meet one of the producers? Yes, absolutely. But I want, before we do that, I want you to tell my audience where can we go to find out more information for about more, the play well, about you too? Well, for more information, you could go to uh, www.biggayitalianwedding.com. For tickets, you could go to telecharge.com. And um, for information on me, well, I'm on Facebook and I'm on Twitter at Tony Penn. Tweet me. I tweet all the time. <laughs> Fabulous. Let's toast to a thousand year. more, a thousand more shows, right? That's great. Thank you so much. So nice to meet you. Well, in a moment with more interviews right here at etc etc for the 100th anniversary of my big gay Italian wedding big champagne kisses to the camera. I'm David Sasso, friend, investor, and producer of My Big Gay Italian Wedding. Now, why did you want to come on board to this production? Well, I know Anthony for about 12 years, and he's immensely, immensely uh, intelligent and creative, and I love the, I love the storyline. Um, it was authentic, it was different, and I just believed in him. I really believed in him. It's a splendid play. Yeah. Funny, it's witty, it's poignant. It's exactly. It's it's across the board. It's and it I think everybody could relate to it and that's absolutely well I'm Italian, so I mean Me too. I mean that was my life growing <laughs> right, up. You right. know, pretty much. And if it wasn't your life, growing up in New York you knew somebody that it was their life. My sister-in-law. It's like my sister-in-law's, I'm telling you, I was cracking up because I was telling my girlfriend that when my, when she got married, my sister-in-law got married, my husband was the best man. And her sister was the maid of honor. And she came to the wedding with a shopping bag, with a hairspray, everything in the yep. shopping yep. bag. Yep. So, I mean, I, I, I can relate to it, absolutely relate to it. Where can we go to find out more information about my big gay my Italian big gay wedding? wedding.com. And what about you, darling? Do you have a Facebook page? David Sasso. David Sasso, spell it. S-A-S-S-O. Nice Fabulous. Italian boy. Nice Italian boy. Let's toast. I'll drink to that. 
Thank you, darling. Thank you so much. We'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews right here at Etc. Etc. Restaurant for the 100th anniversary of my big gay Italian wedding. Big champagne kisses. to impress. One of a kind. It's been a Crybaby Productions, darlings.